Hi, my name is Michael Burgess. I'm the managing attorney of MBNA. I'm a certified legal specialist in California workers' compensation and I'm a trial attorney. Um, I wanted to take a few quick uh, minutes to go over some recent case law, specifically a recent case called Mills versus American Medical Response. This is a 2019 case. This is found at CalWork Comp PD Lexus 84. Um, and essentially, um, this case is following a line of cases that breaks down something called Benson apportionment. I have many videos breaking down Benson apportionment. There's a, a case called Jerry DeLeva versus Northworth Grumman. I have a video that you should watch. Um, but this case confirms those line of holding. And, and the reason why I want to talk about it is it's kind of ironic because it cites to my case of Jerry DeLeva versus Northrop Grumman, but it was the defendant that cited to my case to argue that that case somehow helped their arguments when in fact, my case, Jerry DeLeva versus Northrop Grumman, proved the actual opposite. It, it justified what the injured worker was arguing, and I'm shocked that a defendant cited it, and I love the fact that the court took notice that the very case that the defendant cited, my case actually proved otherwise. So remember that there's, there's apportionment and there's Benson apportionment. That is, an injured worker is entitled to compensation based on permanent disability. And the doctors must address general apportionment, which is what percentage of their disability is due to industrial causation or non-industrial causation. That's just generic apportionment. Uh, and a seminal case is a case called Escobedo. Now then there's Benson apportionment, which says of the industrial injuries um, or the amount of disability that's apportioned to industrial causation, if there's multiple injuries, can that doctor apportion it amongst those multiple injuries? Um, if the doctor separates the, the amount to multiple dates of injury, that reduces the amount of monetary compensation the injured worker is entitled to. So of course an injured worker or their injured worker's attorney or representative will want to argue that everything is inextricably intertwined to one joint award. Now, the holding in Jerry DeLeva versus Northrop Grumman is essentially if, if one of the doctors is finding the injuries inextricably intertwined, uh, that is if the defendant doesn't satisfy their burden to explain how and why to a reasonable degree of medical probability these injuries should be apportioned. They don't satisfy their burden and the applicant and the injured worker is entitled to a joint award uh, as a matter of law. That's what the holding in Jerry DeLeva was and that was one of the, the first seminal cases that broke this down and this was my case. Now, the Mills versus American Medical Response case is another case that's come down and has confirmed the holding in Jerry DeLeva um, and has specifically pointed out that defendant's citation to that case was completely inappropriate because the Jerry DeLeva versus Northrop Grumman case actually confirms the injured worker's argument here that they're entitled to a joint award or a award on one date of injury which would entitle them to the maximum benefits. Um, once again, viewers, if you're watching this, this is very, very complicated stuff. Um, uh, my office is a complete expert in this case uh, and this holding because uh, my office created the very case law that's the, the fundamental building blocks for this Mills case, which is reaffirming the Jerry DeLeva versus Northrop Grumman case. Once again, if you're injured, um, and it's the result of not one injury, but multiple injuries. They can be specific injuries or cumulative trauma injuries. If there's multiple industrial injuries and a physician is apportioning your injuries amongst those multiple dates of injury, it is extremely important that you get an attorney because the insurance company is gonna, going to try to bifurcate that into separate small awards, which is gonna reduce your monetary compensation on the case. I can't stress this enough. If you have an extremely high disability award, anything above 70% and a doctor is breaking this up, a very significant reduction in the, the amount of compensation you're legally entitled to. It is extremely important that you get an attorney to argue that these injuries are inextricably intertwined because if you're 100% disabled and a doctor splits this up, we are talking about seven figures uh, of value that is thrown away. Uh, you may be entitled to a million dollars or more if you can show it's a joint award. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, viewers, if you have any questions or concerns, please give me a call. We're standing by. We have the answers.